Hello, this is Aaron from Lo-Fi and DIY, and I just want to do a quick introduction to the use of the Loma GraphLock back with my uh, kit. Uh, the uh, kit is a uh, non-destructive 4x5 kit for 110, 110A, 110B, 120, and pretty much all roll film cameras um, of that era, the Polaroid 110s. So anyway, First, I'd like to just go ahead and show you this particular back. Okay. The actual camera itself, there is no actual permanent modification. It's like all of my uh, lo-fi designs. I actually don't like to permanently modify because I'm a collector and I like to be able to switch back and forth with these cameras. This particular model is a beautiful 110B. Um, which means it has a single uh, rangefinder viewfinder window, which is pretty desirable. I like it. Um, you'll note that there is a simple lens stop that I've placed here. It actually sticks on with sticky tape, and that is the only modification to this part right here. And it does uh, the appropriate setback for not only my 4x5 back, but also adding the Loma graph lock back. So it is actually designed just for this. You will get, if you were to get this 4x5 uh, lo-fi design kit, you will actually get um, two lens stops. And like I said, they're just reversible as far as just peeling and sticking them on. One would be for a standard back, um, standard 4x5 back, and the other would be for the Loma Graph Lock, which has 19 millimeter setback further. That's why this lens looks so recessed. That is the furthest the lens will look recessed. So if you're focusing, you can see that the come it comes out further like that. And so infinity is all the way in like that, but uh, it comes out further. Now this also, I've designed it so that um, if you're like me, you like to be able to fold it up. That's one of the practical sides of this camera. Um, this will not get in the way of you simply folding it up. So you can fold it up with that stop in place. Okay, now on the back side, it is de designed to be perfectly centered on the existing viewfinder rangefinder. And you can see right here the single window, but I've made enough room here that the double window, which is the A and the, the, the um, 110A and the 120 will be right there. So there's enough room for that as well. Um, you'll see my white rails. If you've watched any of my other videos, know that this is what I call my uh, my Panda version. And the Panda version is designed that way so that I don't sell my own products. This is my prototype. Uh, that way I don't sell the prototype and I actually get to uh, test it. My problem was earlier I would make the prototype the same way as I would make the, um, the cameras forever the camera backs for everybody else and then I would sell it and then I would be out uh, a camera back so you'll see this this white what you would get if you were to order from me would be a black on black with with chrome not white like this okay the installation of the um, Loma graph lock is actually fairly simple I'm just going to orient this way just because it's easier to see okay like that I'm going to orient it this way. Okay. And uh, the Loma Graph Lock back itself, it's quite, it's quite large. Um, the only thing that I've done to the Loma Graph Lock back is there's a little piece of electric tape you see right along there. If you watched my uh, 160 to Loma Graph Lock back, uh, you'll know that I put one piece of electric tape on there. And it's because these grooves are so skinny and shallow and uh, they're not exactly the same dimension as the uh, the classic 4x5 units and because of that there's a little bit of slop there that I didn't, didn't like so you just put a piece of electric tape across the back and then it's perfect it's all set okay so then I go ahead and I rock it in into the back Let's see here Okay, 
So then you're just going to go ahead and tighten up the, the top and the bottom like this. Okay. Tighten it in place. Okay. Now it's actually locked in. Okay. Um, the only other thing I would add, and this is a recent addition, this right here is a little, uh, little block that you just put right there on the rail. And that way when the, um, that way when the uh, film ejects, it actually slides right across instead of getting caught and bunching up right there because this is very close to the rail. Okay, so here's a Loma graph lock back. We go ahead and we just open it and we find our film. Okay, and the usual orientation of the film, as you can see, the Loma graph lock already has that. Okay, so you put it right in there and you close it up. Now, with this uh, Loma graph lock, I already have the dark slide in place. You're going to have to remove the dark slide. And how you do that is you just go ahead and turn it on. Then it lets you slip the dark slide out. That's what this is, the dark slide. And then, and I think my cat's back there looking at what we're doing. There, my kitty is there trying to get in on the action. Okay, so you take the dark slide out and you can go ahead and eject the dark slide now. Uh, the actual film pack dark slide, sorry. There's two different dark slides. Okay, then you just hit the eject button. It comes right out. And then you remove that. Okay, now you're basically ready to shoot. It's that simple. There's nothing more to it. So I have an install video on the various kinds of... Um, I have an install video on the various uh, kinds of uh, uh, lo-fi backs that I make for the 110. And it's a really simple install video. It works pretty much the same with all of them. So now that I have this, I could take the picture. Let's say, let's say I just take a picture. And I'm sure this is going to be a little dark because I don't have a flash or anything for it right now. But uh, take a picture. And once I've taken my picture, I hit the eject button. And it just comes right out the top. Simple as that. Okay. And of course, turn it off. And it's up to you whether or not you want to leave it stored on the back of the camera or if you want to slide the dark slide back in and take it off of the back. This particular back, this um, this um, 4x5 back, does work with every other type of uh, specifically 4x5 graph lock back. So you can actually use it for... Uh, if you have the four by five graphmatic like I do, um, or if you have um, uh, the Polaroid 550 type backs, those will all work with this. And also with this thing, make sure you turn it off. That little uh, blue light is kind of almost invisible, so I make the mistake of not turning it off sometimes. Um, Let's see, that's pretty much all you'd need to know about using this. The one thing I would say about the Loma Graph Lock, and this is just something to be aware of, um, I, have, I have owned a total of two um, Instax Wide Base Lomography products, and both of them have the exact same problem with it, which is their battery contacts can be kind of flaky. And basically, you'll see the light coming on. Let's see if I can do it right now. So the light coming on, and then you shift it certain ways. Oh no, it's going to be good for the camera right now. But you shift it certain ways and the light will literally go out and then come back on. It looks like it's not going to do it right now. Um, it's annoying, but it's something that you can uh, just, just live with. Just sh simply shift it out and then once you get the light to come on, just go ahead and eject it. And this is not a uh, used defective product. It's basically, this is just what I've run into with all the Loma Graph Lock and the and the uh, um, the Lomography Instax wide uh, cameras. They just have that problem with the battery contact. It can be kind of annoying sometimes. One other thing I did want to mention though, just like the um, the uh, 
The rails are kind of skinny, shallow, and anemic here, and I had to put a piece of tape there. I put a piece of tape right along this ridge here as well, because this is also super skinny and small, and this just kind of fattens it up to where it works with a normal, uh, uh, normal graph lock setup. For whatever reason, they just made them really thin with this, but um, all of the actual original backs are much deeper and thicker. The, the rails are. They're deeper and thicker than this. Okay, well, that's all I got for you today on this. Um, uh, that's all I got. <laughs> okay, bye.